In this video I'll show how to create a party invitation using Pages for Mac. First of all I need some text and I've already prepared the words. It's a ukulele party so I've also a picture of my ukulele taken in the garden which I will use in the invitation. So now I just need to design my card and this is where Pages templates comes in. If I go into File, New, you'll see a choice of many different styles. This folder, Cards, contains the invitations and I quite like the look of this one so if I click on it and click Choose, there it is. First of all I want to replace that picture so it's a matter of taking my picture from desktop and dragging it on and it replaces it straight away. The proportions aren't quite right so I'll have to make a few adjustments. So double click and use the slider to reduce the size. That's about right I think. And then I can centre it and if I click the borders, I can bring them in. That looks about right. Click Done. And maybe move it all up slightly. There we are. And next, the text. And if I stro scroll down, I can change this title to the title that I want to use come to a strum. So copy that text, select the template text and then use match and paste and match style. And I can do the same thing with the rest of the text. Select and copy and then select the text in the template and use paste and match style. Now I've been a bit generous with my spacing so let's remove some spaces and I think I'll need to move these up, move this box up and increase it below and that looks about right. I'll do a little bit of editing. The address, if I select these lines, uses 1.2 spacing I'll change that to single spacing. I'll select the title and make that bold. Perhaps center it and increase the font size. And the email address, perhaps I'll center that and change its color to blue. And there we are. So let's come back up again and there's a piece of text here how to use it says the dashed fold line will simplify folding the printed card remember to delete this box before printing so with that in mind i'll select and delete and now i can print off and i'll just do one invitation as a way of checking that everything's working so if i go into file print i can print the first page, click print, then put that piece of paper back in and print the second page. But remember that the piece of paper that you've put in with page one printed on it needs to be put in in the correct way and that varies from printer to printer so you need to sort that one out. Click print again and hopefully all is well. If so, then I can do all of the invitations in one go. And that's it.